Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some of your time with me on the latest Diecast Emporium episode. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the latest mix of Matchbox Real Working Rigs vehicles. I always love taking a look at these trucks because many of them are close in scale to HO scale, and really they're just fun, packed vehicles with a lot of play value, a lot of functionality into them. This case was provided by my good friends at jcardiecast.com, so if you're looking for any Hot Wheels cases or Matchbox cases or a whole bunch of other fun stuff, be sure to check them out at jcardiecast.com, especially with everything going on in the world right now. Why go out in public when nobody's abiding by social distancing standards and nobody's wearing face masks, at least that's how it seems around here anyway. Uh, and only by the time you get to the store, you realize there's nothing on the pegs that you're looking for anyway. The simple solution is just to get the stuff straight in the case from jcardiecast.com. So much easier, so much less stressful, and uh, you can get the whole thing in one shot, and you're good to go. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. This is what it comes in if you do buy the case. So there's eight pieces in here. I, I don't know what the assortment is like in here. I don't know if there's just four models and two of each or if they what the assortment is. So let's just go ahead and unbox it. I do know that there's supposed to be a new color of the attenuator truck, which is extremely popular last year. So let's go ahead and see. This is what it looks like from the top-down view. So we have an aerial ladder truck, we have an excavator, and I can tell you right now there are one, two, three attenuator trucks, and it looks like one, two, three international rollback trucks. So uh, that's a bit interesting for the choice of the assortment in here. My only guess, I guess, if you will, my guess, I guess, um, is that... Mattel thinks that the attenuator and the rollback truck will probably sell the best, and they're banking on the excavator and the ladder truck more or less being peg warmers. So that is my assumption of why the assortment is the way that it is. Nevertheless, let's get cracking. So the first two, we have the International Durastar 4400 flatbed, also known as a rollback. Pretty nice looking card art on here. Um, on the door it says El Segundo Division OCT. Little badge there, which I like. Looks pretty good. So you guys that are into collecting police die cast by Matchbox will probably want to pick this up. You can do some you know, illegal parking scenes with this. And we will open up one of these and take a closer look at it. Next, we have the GMC 3500 attenuator truck. This was a smash hit last year in orange. Now it's in white uh, with a baby blue stake bed attenuator body on it. MB matchbox on the door with freeway services underneath unit number five. No detailing on the front of the truck, but certainly, and again, we will open up one of these as well. Lane closed on the back, and your arrow is detailed out as well. Next, these are going to be doubles, of course. Have two more of your rollback trucks. So, again, three of those. Spacer. And then two more GMC attenuators. And then next, here is the Matchbox Excavator. Again, none of these models in here are new. We have all seen these released before. These are all new liveries or colors for them. However, this obviously in a striking green color with the excavator, boom, and stick and bucket in gray. The tracks on here do roll. There's no wheels underneath, which is another great aspect of these real working rigs. They are a little bit more functional than your typical dollar matchbox vehicle. And last but not least, out of the case, is the Pierce Quantum Aerial Ladder Truck with a pretty striking paint job on it. Uh, ladder truck across the ladder, 
and on the door it reads MBX Fire Department District Number Seven uh, on the fire badge there, and ladder twenty eight fire over here. On the front you have almost an almost an FDNY style. Can't really see with the light. There you go. You have MBX on the right side and then FD on the left side. Again, very reminiscent of kind of the FDNY style. But a very good looking rig, nonetheless. So let's go ahead and crack a couple of these open. So first one we'll open is the attenuator truck, which I again I think and Matchbox seems to think this will once again be the most popular of the set. So here it is. Now you'll see these trucks uh, on road construction jobs. That's where they are most prevalent. Let's get the razor out of the way. And their main job is to warn pedestrians and drivers not to run over the workers that are in the area. And this is a fold down cushion that the truck has so that the vehicle the traveling drivers and vehicles, if one is not paying particular attention, uh, worst case scenario, they will hit this soft cushion instead of hitting the men in the work area or the construction vehicles. So that is the primary purpose of an attenuator truck. The arrow, arrow here as well is designed to um, tell the motorists to get in the lane or the lane ahead is closed. So you can have this in the left or right direction on a real one, or in a center lane divide, it would obviously be flashing in both directions. But the really cool thing about this truck is the fact that you can take the arrow off if you want to, and you can also put cones or other construction supplies in the stake bed part of the truck if you desire to do that. Also, it's very easy to detail these trucks out if you want to add headlights, turn signals, um, add some details to the mirrors, so if you want to add some reflective surfaces to them. Or, of course, if you want to completely strip this and paint it in highway colors or whatever to match your fleet. So that is the GMC attenuator truck. Again, probably the most interesting out of all of these in this particular mix. Next, we have the International Durastar 4400 flatbed truck. And we have, before we crack this open, we have seen this already a couple times recently. We've seen it in blue with a black bed and white with a black bed. This release sees it with a white cab and a gray bed. So the main working feature of this real working rigs is the fact that the rollback does roll back and slide down. So if you have a suitable Matchbox or Hot Wheels vehicle, you can drive it up on the bed here and then drive it away to have some service done on it. Additionally, this bar back here, the tow bar, as you can see, comes out and slightly raises and lower. So you can pose that as well. Has a nice chrome grill. The lights on this one are painted, as well as some detailing along the side. And underneath, pretty standard for Matchbox. Moving along. We'll take a look now at the excavator. Again, another casting that we have seen quite a lot of recently. Uh, here is one of the recent releases in orange and yellow. We've also seen it in the MBX, uh, or rather the INC construction deco in blue and yellow. But in terms of this paint scheme, we have seen this recently with the sweeper truck that was released in the last mix, as well as the crane, pardon the arm. So if you want to start somewhat of a construction company, now you have three vehicles in that set. 
As far as this functionality, again, if you've seen this before, you know the tracks move with some downward pressure applied. You can rotate it 360 degrees, and you have some basic functionality of the arm, stick, and boom. So you can pose it loading vehicles. So that is the excavator. Our last and final vehicle that we will look at is another one that is a favorite among collectors. This is the Pierce Quantum Aerial Ladder Truck. Again, this was released recently. Here it is in the San Diego Fire Rescue livery. I feel like this livery is a repeat livery too. Although it doesn't come to mind where I've seen it. Here's the truck, back, right side, and the striking front. Main function is obviously the ladder, which does rotate 360 degrees and has an extending section. So there you have it, collectors. That is a unboxing and review of the latest mix of the Matchbox Real Working Rigs. Tell me down in the comments section below which of these is your favorite and perhaps which of these you would like to add to your collection. Again, can't stress this enough. Avoid the hunt. You can get this entire case on jcardiecast.com. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you in the next review.